Palmer bet with the big don't argue. Punters will love that. Download our app today and enjoy tackle busting benefits with great odds, more markets, and same game multi every NRL match at Palmer Bet. Gamble responsibly. For gambler's help, call 1 800 858 858. Welcome everyone to episode 443 of Fergun and the Freak. I'm your host, the Glorious League Freak. I am joined by the Queen of Devices. Her name is Julie. Hello, Julie. What did you think of the Eels tonight? Hello. I'm not too sure about that introduction, but yeah. <laughs> uh, the Eels tonight, I, I didn't know if they would win. Mm -hmm. Even up until, like, you know, those last 10 minutes, Mm -hmm. I was always waiting, just like, you know, something always goes wrong. They never get past, you know, semifinals. (laughs) Something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until that final whistle blew, I'm like, yay, we finally won. Yeah, they put on a hell of a performance. They beat the Raiders 40 points to four. Um, the only concern is probably another head knock that Mitch Moses took. He went and got a HIA, but they let him back on the field, which was, I thought, not so much that he cleared the HIA, but I thought putting him back on the field was pretty brave by the Eels. But it's hard to not talk about this game and talk about how absolutely fucking putrid the Canberra Raiders were, hey? Yeah, their defence was shocking. <laughs> mm. I think Jordan Rapana entered the poor carriage zone of shithousery in a finals match. Yeah, definitely. He was fucked. The best yeah. part was the best part was too that he kept on fucking up worse and worse and then looking for the ball to fuck up more. And then when he didn't have the ball, they were looking for him to pass him the ball so he could <laughs> fuck up more. It was just quite extraordinary. Yeah, there, there was so much that happened in that game that I'm just like, what? Mm, mm. Like the yeah. fact that, like, what was what's his name? Marnie. Mm. He was third man. <laughs> yeah, there was there was a few th- blow ups in that game. Uh, the Parramatta Eels really started to give it to the Raiders, like verbally at points in the match. Yeah, especially Clint Gutherson, which uh, I just at least they backed up on that. Hey, at least he backed up on it. Like you know, yeah, true. <laughs> There's nothing worse than someone like, you know, mouthing off and then like, you know, their team loses. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, very true. Very true. Now, I had said that the Eels hadn't won a game that really mattered. Well, now they have. That's step one. Um, huge performance, big crowd at home. They smashed the Raiders. Going on next week to face the North Queensland Cowboys. How do you feel about that game? Oh, it's North Queensland in Queen- North Queensland. Mm. Yeah, I might do what I did tonight and go, Eels should win it, but, you know, Raiders Raiders will end up winning. So mm-hmm. I'll go, Eels should win against Cowboys, <laughs> but, you know, Cowboys will probably win. Who did you tip for this game, by the way? When the tipping comp? Mm. Oh, God, I have no idea. I think I actually tipped against them. Thank God, because I tipped the Raiders as well, and I was like, oh, man, if Julie tipped the Parramatta Eels, I'm down two tips on her, and I've got to make them all up for the rest of the year. So that's that's really good news for me. Not good news for me. <laughs> you know, in um, a way, it kind of works, because it's the curse of Julie. I tipped against Parramatta, mm-hmm. and Parramatta won. Mm-hmm. So you'll be tipping North Queensland next week, yeah? Probably. Excellent, excellent. So, have you booked your grand final tickets yet? Like, I mean, who's stopping the eels at this point? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> you do, you do not put that out into the universe. What? It's, it's I just, matter. I think they should have just taken the NRL trophy out of you know whatever fucking thing it's in and just handed it to the eels tonight. They were just outstanding. They're injury shut free. Up, shut up. They've Get got up. no problems Get at up. the judiciary. They're just like, and most of all, they're humble. Don't jinx them. Don't they're jinx humble. them. Brad Arthur's a great coach. Stop saying no then. <laughs> His son is a wonderful player. Don't you dare mention Moses. Eels fans have Eels fans have reasonably reasonable expectations on their team every year. 
<laughs> oh god, no, they don't. <laughs> Terrible. Clint Gutherson can run the ball and break tackles. <laughs> <laughs> now, Reed Marnie was very good in this game. Mitch Moses yeah. was pretty good in this game. Um, I thought your forwards were fantastic. They really stood up on the counter. They bashed the uh, the Raiders forwards. The Raiders forwards were just nowhere in this game. Yeah, it was a pretty physical game. Like, like. The parts that I got to see, it was like really hard hitting and really fiery in the end. I was worried that uh, Tapani and uh, Papali'i was going to, they were just going to both be cannibals in this game. They yeah. really didn't get started in this game at all, did they? They were a little bit, you know, destructive in with 10 minutes left, but the game was over. Yeah. At least they didn't stop trying. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You've just got to give it a try. Even if you're going to be fucking getting smashed by the 2022 NRL champions on their home stadium, like, fuck. Don't say that. <clears throat> What's allowed the, to jinx them. What is the worst case scenario for the Eels at this point? Like, is it just not scoring 40 in the grand final? <sighs> Will you be getting grand final tickets behind the posts or in like the really expensive ones? Just well, I won't be buying grand final tickets. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> One costs too much, mm-hmm. two too far to travel. Yes, and it's not guaranteed they're going to make it. <laughs> I say I think that that's completely outrageous that you'd say something like that. Who is North Queensland anyway? They're like they're taking on the team that was in last place only ten months ago. Yeah, but it's Parramatta. Yeah, I know, but like they've proven. It's so weird now. to actually say that. that yeah, but they've can... what? Like you know, last year Cowboys were like you know, yeah, tenth, and they were thinking you know they're probably going to really be at the bottom half of like you know the bottom eight, and here they are, like just one step away from a grand final. Yeah. But you know what? It's a million miles away if they're playing against the Parramatta Eels. Like, man, what a team. What an amazing team. So many amazing haircuts too. Did you notice that? Wonderful haircuts. Can we do – okay, quick quick game. Parramatta Eels, fuck, marry, dump. Who is your marry? Moses. Moses? Okay. Who is your dump? Sean Lane. Okay. Now, most importantly, okay, mm-hmm. the queen of devices, who is your fuck? Moses. Whoa, so who's your marry and your F? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. I'll allow that. I'll allow that but, on a night of pure celebration for an Eels fan. See, see you, you kept it to, you know, just Eels. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, if it was all of the NRL, I'd have to add in Harry Grant. Yeah, you like his hair, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm I'm in this dilemma right now. I don't know who to choose, Moses or Harry Grant. Maybe we could put it to our listeners to decide who will marry and who will give the big old F to. (laughs) Or who (laughs) even should be my favourite player. Yeah, well, so is it between those two for your favourite player? Yeah. Oh man, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be either of those guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Maybe I shouldn't have a clear favourite set yeah. because Julie doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> touch him. Diffuse it. Diffuse it. Um. Well, look, I had to get you on for this podcast because I needed a Neil's fan on. I thought it was a fun game to watch. The Look, the Canberra Raiders were fucking tragic, diabolical, wasted everyone's time even getting this far if they were going to play like that. Ricky Stewart probably blamed the referees, the rules of the game, the how tall the grass was, you know, there's too many R's in Parramatta, all of that shit. He probably said something about Jamin Salmon once again. I don't know. I missed the press conference. I didn't give a fuck what he had to say, but yeah, um, I didn't say it. yeah, like you've you've got to be pretty happy to be to be fair. You've got to be happy with that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was proud of them. They didn't go missing even towards the end. Like yeah. I thought, like you know, they'd end up somehow letting you know um, the Raiders score a bit more and. Mm-hmm. Like, 
So I was really proud that they kept him to what was it four? It was four, wasn't it? Four, yeah, yeah, yeah four. Um, and you know the Jordan Rapana game. We'll always remember the Jordan Rapana game. Thank you, everyone, for listening, and we'll catch you soon. Palmer bet with the big. Don't argue. Punters will love that. Download our app today and enjoy tackle busting benefits with great odds, more markets, and same game multi every NRL match at Palmer Bet. Gamble responsibly. For gambler's help, call 1 800 858 858.